elevator mechanics install, maintain, and replace elevators, escalators, chairlifts, and moving walkways. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market for elevator mechanics, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and we do interviews with different professionals. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. At first glance, most people would think elevator mechanics only work on elevators. In fact, they can also work on escalators, chairlifts, and moving walkways. These mechanics tend to specialize, choosing whether to focus on installation, maintenance, or repair. Elevator mechanics that focus on maintenance and repair need a deep knowledge of electronics, hydraulics, and electricity. After an elevator, escalator, chairlift, or moving walkway is installed, these workers must maintain and service them continually. Worn parts are replaced, moving parts are oiled and greased, and equipment is adjusted. Luckily, a lot of the modern equipment is being computerized. There are now easier ways to run diagnostics than in the past. To become an elevator mechanic, a high school diploma is first needed. Training begins with a four-year apprentice program sponsored by a union, industry, association, or a contractor. At this point, 35 states require elevator mechanics to be licensed to work. Next, let's take a look at who elevator mechanics tend to work for. 89%, the vast majority of elevator mechanics work as general contractors. 2% work for the government, and 1% work in the education industry. Despite the vast majority of elevator mechanics working as general contractors, according to the government, this isn't actually the most lucrative area for them to work in. The government on average pays elevator mechanics the most, with an average base salary of around $91,000 per year. Contractors are next with an average base salary of $79,000, and education is last with an average base salary of $64,000. Per year. Notice that there are few, if any, elevator mechanics that own their own business. There may be easier occupations to do this. For example, 9% of plumbers and 9% of HVAC technicians own their own companies. Another way for elevator mechanics to boost their income is through overtime. So any hours worked over 40 hours a week typically get multiplied by 1.5. This also depends on the state. States have different rules regarding overtime. Next, let's take a look at the job market for elevator mechanics. Elevator mechanics have seen lots of job volatility over the past 20 years. There was a large drop in the number of jobs in 2002 and from 2008 to 2010. In 2018, the government recorded 26,830 jobs. So in 20 years, the number of elevator mechanic jobs rose by about 1,800 jobs. It may be pretty challenging to get a job in this occupation. Fortunately, the government is optimistic about the future job growth of elevator mechanics, despite the past 20 years of pretty rocky job numbers. The government is forecasting a 10% job growth for elevator mechanics from 2018 to 2028. Compared to other similar occupations, this is pretty high. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. Demand for elevator mechanics is tied to commercial real estate. The greater the need for office buildings and stores drives up job growth. Elevator mechanics will also continue to provide access to disabled Americans who can't climb stairs. Next, let's take a look at what elevator mechanics earn nationally. In 1999, the national average base salary was recorded at $47,740. By the year 2018, the national base salary had risen to $79,000. $370. So nationally, wages rose for elevator mechanics by about $32,000 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for elevator mechanics. The national base salary is around $80,000 per year, but certain metro areas, especially on the West Coast, pays much more than this. So let's take a look. Number five on this list is deep in the Midwest. It is Minneapolis, Minnesota, where the average base salary for elevator mechanics is $95,340. Next, we're flying to the West Coast. We're heading to Portland, Oregon in our number four spot. The average base salary here is $95,950. Next, we're gonna head south to San Francisco, California. I'm not sure I would recommend actually living in this city. It is extremely expensive, but the average wage in San Francisco for elevator mechanics 
is $100,650. Finally, we can fly to the East Coast, and there's this is the only East Coast city on this list. It is Boston, Massachusetts. And in Boston, the average wage for elevator mechanics is $105,050. Then we're hopping in a plane, and we are heading west to Seattle, Washington. In Seattle, the average wage for elevator mechanics is $109,030. And keep in mind, those are base salaries. Many times, elevator mechanics can work overtime and earn time and a half. So someone making $110,000 a year and then getting overtime on top of that will really start raking in the dough. But this is a competitive industry. It is challenging to get in, so keep that in mind. Are you interested in becoming an elevator mechanic? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.